Hello friends. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I was working on a project that didn't really work out. I was going to do a video on building a KVM virtual machine with GPU pass-through, but I couldn't exactly get it working totally right. I couldn't get the CPUs to pass through properly. So I decided to scrap that because I didn't want to put out a thing that didn't work properly. So here I am. I'm going to upgrade my NAS. I'm actually going to be swapping some drives because my storage space is it's not exactly getting low, but I'm using 63% of my uh, my pool here. So I'm going to start swapping out drives with two ter or four terabyte hard drives instead of two terabyte. And I'm going to double the, the size of my, my pool here. So I wanted to take you along and show you how it's done. Okay, so first we're going to go into storage. And let's go ahead and take a look at the disks here. I've got six two terabyte disks here. Uh, today I've only got three replacement drives. I figured it would hurt a little less if I did it, you know, a few a few at a time. Because these, nah, they're not exactly cheap. I'm going to re be replacing some Western Digital drives with Seagate drives. Mainly because Western Digital is moving to... SMR drives instead of CMR. So I'm going to be using the uh, the Seagate Iron Wolves that use CMR. This just gives you an overview of your drives. This isn't really where you do anything. If you want to do stuff, you go to the pools and then you find all of your pools and data sets here. Go to this little gear here and hit status and that'll show you your pool, your raid, I'm running a Z raid. I know it's a one. I I wanted to do two, but at the time I needed the well. I thought I needed all the the space and everything, and I don't know. Maybe I'll fix it at some point. That's a whole different project. So I'm going to start replacing these one by one. I guess I will start with uh, I'll start with zero. You click over here, and you're going to take that offline. Confirm. Okay, and now that's offline. If you have a uh, hot swap enabled, you can just go ahead and swap the drive. I do have hot swap enabled, and I could do that. The thing is, I don't have my serial numbers for my drives on the outside of them. So I'm going to shut down and actually go look for the serial numbers and I'm going to fix that by using my label maker and sticking them on the end of the drive. I'll show you that here in a minute. So to shut it down, just hit the power button up here, shut down, confirm. Okay, so here we are at the actual server and that drive, I wrote down the number, is in one of these bays. So I'm just going to start Pulling and comparing. Okay, I did find that they actually do put the serial number right there, at least the, the last four. So, that's nice. Here's the new drive, and it does the same thing right there but I already printed this label and it's a lot bigger easier to see so I just stuck it on there anyway I'm gonna go swap this and I'm back so I decided instead of just relying on inside there because when you pull this it pulls the drive out I just stuck the last four right on the front there so we're gonna put that drive in and turn the server back on and we're back. We're going to be going back into storage, pools, status again, and now see how it's got this new drive in there? And that's the UUID or GPTID. You're going to hit this again, and instead of hitting online, you're going to hit replace. And select the member disk that you're replacing. Replace disk, 
and it'll start the resilvering process. And you're going to do this for every single disc. My pool is not going to show, it's not going to grow bigger until all of the discs are changed to the same size disc. So until I replace all six discs, my, my pool isn't going to double. Okay, it replaced the disc, and it's going to go through that process and fill that disc with what was on this one, and I'll be good to go after that. One eternity later. Not quite an eternity, but we're four hours later, and it got completed. Check here in the logs. It changed everything and completed everything. So we look at status finished. Everything's online. And we go to our pool and it says it's healthy. That's good. All right, so I'm going to do that two more times. I don't know if I'm going to do it today, but thanks for joining me on this journey, and I will see you next time.